It was all a dream. What's up guys, this is Happy No with another Guild Force 2 PvP build video and this time the second support, we see it here, the Druid with Heart of Thorns, no Path of Fire because with Path of Fire you are not able to get the same healing output as with this build and here we go, we start with Staff, Sword and Dagger I'm gonna quickly explain it to you because I don't want to take the videos too long and as always if you want to see PvP from this build you just have to tell me Currently I'm not playing ranked arena because it just sucked. I had so many freaking bad games man. Uh, even my last game I wanted to show you also a video about playing me this build here. I got 5 top stats. We lose 150 to 500. My team was so damn bad. It, it was impossible to carry. It is impossible to even make a good video when you have so bad players man in your team. In a ranked arena where you are platinum 3. Never mind. Sigil of Revocation on hit remove a boon from the enemy just to be annoying and we have the range to do that with the staff. Sigil of Purging on hit remove a condition. This is better for us because on the current meta the Mirage and Scourge is just spammed too many conditions and you just gonna remove them a little bit easier. Sigil of Energy and Sigil of Cleansing on the second weapon swap because we are able to dodge a little bit more often with Sword 2, with Sword 3, Dagger 4 and an extra dodge is also nice from Sigil of Energy. Uh, then the next thing that we have is Rune of the Water. Every 25, every 30 seconds, sorry. We have a 25% chance when struck to remove a condition. This is also extra nice. And 15%, no, not 15, but 20% longer boon duration when you use a heal skill. You and nearby allies are healed for a small amount. Every 10 seconds cooldown, our healing skill has a 20 seconds cooldown, and which is pretty nice. Plus we get this 8 and a 1 fourth of fury. Plus we will remove 2 conditions with the healing skill and it is pretty nice. Uh, we, are, we can also play with the rune of Doliac to stack ex astral might or what is the... Astral force or I don't know what the name of this is. Yeah, as astral force. Uh, if you want to stack this faster, you can go with the rune of... Doliac, which is this one here, it regenerates uh, HP every second, but this one here gives you a longer boon duration and you have a little bit extra healing when using your healing skill. And since we are playing with survival skills, we are really tanky like this. It, this type here is the new tank bunker build, and I just my phone. Uh, yeah, this is new type to play it. The old druid build was a little bit more with your pet being able to burst faster and more damage output and this one here is to, you are a little bit tankier you can sustain more you have more condition cleanse you can survive longer wilderness survival nature magic and druid path of fire we have here natural wigger you recover endurance more quickly so we are able to dodge more often then we have soften the fall great muddy terrain uh, when you take fall damage and survival skills have reduced recharge uh, does it say it here? I don't know. It should be like this. Uh, I'm not so sure. Can you inflict bleeding? Or I don't know if it works. No, it's not this. Oh, then I had the wrong type. Sorry. <laughs> Normally it should be here uh, that you have reduced recharge on for survival skills, but it seems not. Only when you fall damage and for PvP you don't need that. Uh, so you can go with this one here, damage reduced by 5% plus regeneration when we get bleeding, uh, poison or burning, which is on every game, we will get this. Extra HP regeneration, with the rune of water we will get a longer duration. You and your pet gain protection when you dodge roll, and we're gonna dodge a lot of times, and as you can see tier almost 3 seconds protection, so melee combat will be uh, dealing less damage to us, normal damage. And then we have refined toxins, this is pretty strong. Every 5 seconds we will apply poison to enemies if our HP is above 75%. This is just an annoying factor because when you have poison, when you use your healing skill, the, your healing is reduced by 33%, which is a lot. Uh, and this is a condition where the enemy has to remove first, so you apply a condition plus healing reduction, which is so annoying. You and your pet recover health while affected by protection. 
here we go almost three seconds for those three seconds we will get 1.5k almost healing plus the regeneration that we will have permanent and then the healing from this one which will be so so much even through you can also use uh, doliac rune then you will have on protection healing normal regeneration doliac regeneration and when you use your healing seal x-ray regeneration but we have here this one here wildness knowledge survival skills can reduce recharge grant fury and remove conditions fury is good to crit and our pet will deal a little bit more damage plus we will remove two conditions we are using one two three the third the elite skill can be re replaced but you will see i'm going to talk about that a little bit later nature magic uh, gain regeneration when you receive damage while your health is below the threshold this is extra nice because we will get under 50 percent hp also extra regeneration so we could have you can say that you have almost permanent regeneration on you shout search and rescue to double res and you res 10 percent faster on your own this is pretty nice especially good because when you start resing you will get also extra 11 seconds regeneration which is pretty pretty nice not only you but your allies as well as you can see here number of allied targets five uh, fortifying bond when you gain a boon it is shared with your pet which means if we get this one here fury and troll ungent our pet will get it as well it seems to be a boon i have never noticed that but our pet will get it as well uh grant boons to nearby allies when swapping pets this is nice because of the wigger only on combat but i also could recommend to play dodging removes a damaging condition such as burning bleeding uh, poison torment and a non -con non damaging condition like uh, chill cripple immobilize i don't know you can't immobilize but uh, remove immobilize because on immobilize you can't dodge otherwise you can also use a warhorn and as you can see here the extra regeneration will come up to you again but i'm not using it currently you have a tier warhorn skills gain reduced recharge and call of the wild now grants regeneration 25 20 percent less the uh, recharge you and your pet gain increased concentration this is to apply more condition damage but i'm gonna talk about that with the uh, with this pet but a little bit later then we have protective ward every 18 seconds if an enemy attacks us uh, he will receive weakness for six seconds and we will get for five and a half second protection and with this protection we will get 33 percent incoming damage reduced plus 3k healing <laughs> which is pretty awesome then we have druid you need heart of thorns for that you can use also staff only with this uh, lead specialization then we you have it here we can use celestial avatar the next is druidic clarity every time we pop up celestial avatar we will remove 13 conditions uh, this should be all conditions removed and it's a stun breaker which is pretty nice when you heal an ally you are also healed this is especially nice because when with the staff when we heal when we auto attack an enemy behind our ally we will heal him you can see it here healing 103 and every time we do that we will heal ourselves as well so we are pretty pretty tanky and we get a lot of healing celestial shadow grants super speed and stealth to nearby allies when leaving celestial avatar form this is especially nice because we can pop up celestial avatar start rezzing by that we remove all our conditions and after and while we are rezzing if the enemy tries to stomp we can remove celestial avatar and stealth our allies for three seconds so they won't get stomped uh, increase ongoing outgoing healing whenever you heal another ally this is especially strong every eight seconds uh, not every eight seconds but for eight seconds two percent outgoing healing effectiveness max stack is 10 so 10 times two should be 20 percent outgoing healing effectiveness uh, for our allies allies i know i said allies but yeah i don't know why i say it like this lingering light healing an ally causes their next attack to heal them and blind their target this is a must have if you play heal you can also normally play um, on scene seeds but it has 20 seconds cooldown which is too long but lingering light will do extra healing it will affect also your allies allies and they will also blind enemies with their next attacks and blinding is so annoying especially on the current meta where you can uh, blind scourges and they will miss their attacks their conti bombs 
So, two of the skills that we're gonna use is uh, Troll Ungent, the best healing in combination with the protection healing, regeneration healing, uh, you will have a ton of healing. Normally we heal as one was the main healing you that we used, but we won't use it this time because it has 25 seconds cooldown and we are not using the pet uh, quick the pet trait what's the name of it I'm just gonna quickly watch it beast mastery yes then for the survivability the stun break skill because you all know I recommend to play always a build that has at least one stun breaker without stun breaker don't play guild wars 2 pvp then you just are not a pvp player you always need a stun breaker and this one here is the best you can also maybe protect me but you can see it here it has not a shorter cooldown because we ain't playing with shouts we are playing with survival skills so we will have this one here it will damage enemies it will grant you vigor fury and it will remove conditions such as immobilize so it's not only a stun breaker but it will also just uh, dodge attacks like this you will dodge, re you will de deal damage, gain Wigger, Fury, uh, remove Immobilize, remove two conditions, evade attacks and stun break. So it has multiple usages. You can use it to avoid uh, the circles from the Scourge, to just run away and so on and so on. Then we have Signet of Renewal. You and your pet recover health. This is especially nice because we, we have normal healing from this one. Uh, 136 healing plus the healing from regeneration plus the healing from protection plus the healing from this one here for five seconds or eight seconds seven seconds uh, which is awesome we will get so much healing during that then signet of stone this is here to have survivability uh, when you are in dangerous position you can just pop it up 80 seconds cooldown I know it is long but you have for six seconds you take no normal damage which is more than enough to heal yourself up and maybe stealth with celestial avatar and run away and to the elite skill we use entangle this is pretty strong one it applies bleeding and the more important one is immobilize it's unblockable so you will immobilize enemies and immobilized enemies won't be able to dodge which is pretty pretty strong and annoying to them and you can see it here number of targets up to five so if you are on a team fight you can just immobilize your uh, the enemies and go ahead and for example if an ally is here you can just do this and then just go and heal him up while you're, while the enemies have immobilized and won't be able to chase your allies. Uh, yeah then to the pets the number one pet that I'm still using is the smoke scale or what's the name of this guy smoke scale yes uh, for two reasons number one is smoke cloud it's not number one reason but it's number two the reason Smoke's cloud is like this, you can do this and area stealth your allies, plus you can do this and get an extra th 2 seconds stealth. This is pretty good to have it if you want to just hide and run away. Uh, enemies won't be able to chase you like that because you are stealthed. And the best thing here is the auto attack from this pet. It deals good amount of damage, plus it has an annoying knockback which pops up automatically and it is freaking annoying for enemies who get knocked down by that. Then the next pad is this one here. Number one reason of this uh, Chakaranade, 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 I don't know, yeah. Chakaranade, it's a little tree who's pretty deadly and pretty annoying. This dude here is so damn annoying. His auto attack deals heavy damage. His second auto attack deals up to five times damage you can see it here applies vulnerability and it has a five seconds duration he will do those lightning attacks which is a lot and then his third attack will still have and gain regeneration and remove conditions this is i guess only for, for himself but i'm not so sure by that maybe it will heal us also but i haven't uh, watched the pet what it does so much and because I know a lot of you will complain, let's just show some combos then, because most of you want to see the combos that you can do with that. And we just go to the target golems, and here also for the new players, you can just come up here and practice your combos and attacks, which you can do there. 
here we go we have the target golem and in, indest indestructible and number one what we are going to do is auto attack and let our pet attack from the distance and you can see it here we apply poison our pet will apply some bleeding and if we are behind our pet we should be healing it then the next thing is if our allies are fighting on this point we can just apply this and then come up here heal them up with a combo healing finisher and subla sublam conversation has a 25 seconds cooldown and it will uh, it will convert all projectiles into water healing then what we can do is keep the distance and then swap the pet and you can see it here when the pet attacks it deals heavy damage look at this 12k 13k 14k uh, let's just check out what the pet alone can do but we need for that a little bit to give our pet some fury and you can see it here the pet deals up to 6k damage and single auto attack as well which is pretty pretty strong uh, it should normally combo start comboing but it's not doing it now it starts comboing and you can see it here the, this is the auto attack which will automatically attack and then when we use our healing skill and swap the pets our pet will have fury while auto attacking and dealing a lot of damage and now you will see it here he will soon knock this guy down or he already did that yeah he knocked him down now and so this is pretty annoying and you can see it here we get did we got protection from one of those guys no we got protection by dodging every time we dodge we get protection uh, protection will give us reduced incoming damage and of course the healing as I mentioned it uh, let's just go and take fight against an NPC and then we just finish the video because I don't want to take it so long uh, let's go for this guy no I just failed that I don't want to use my thing we can activate the healing skill and then just auto attack with the pet and with ourself and as you just saw we just healed him and our pet is Im uh, knocking him down we can immobilize with wine surge and then we can swap the pets try to immobilize this guy again and he's immobilized and now auto attack our pet will just wreck him hardcore even though we are not a dps whoa 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 whoa, whoa. okay this i wasn't noticing this guy here he was dealing so much damage what he's stomping me <laughs> uh yeah what i wanted to say is <laughs> this is now a bad example uh, but you can see it here you, we get four times healing and if, if we dodge we get an extra additional healing wow but this this elementalist npc did so much damage man <laughs> we just do this heal him up and then we can swap the pets apply the poison poison is also pretty strong because um, if you have a downed enemy you can just auto attack him and you will apply the entire time poison okay now one more time attack him dodge some attacks he has his poison up we dodge one more attack and then when we can swap the pets we can use the healing skill and then swap the pets try to immobilize this guy and when we have immobilized him our pet will deal heavy damage we can immobilize one more time remove two conditions and then just auto attack and as you can see here the, this pet here this what was the name of it <laughs> check a grenade you need uh, path of fire for this i guess to get it it deals so much damage and then the next thing is what you can do when auto attacking here's one guy uh, you can heal your ally still up like this and you can see it here if I go behind my pet we will heal it and while we heal it we will heal ourselves as well and then we get protection and our pet will get also protection on dodge and then the combos that you should do is always uh, celestial avatar 3 lunar impact and then seed of life which will be a uh, blind and condition remove for yourself and then start with net uh, astral force 5 astral force astral attack f avatar attack 5 better said like this uh, this elementalist just killed me so hardcore man <laughs> but i wasn't expecting it because i was not dodging and using my healing skills and so on and so on uh, yeah let's just go and talk a little bit about the celestial avatar as I said it the celestial avatar is the strongest force from the druid and you should always keep it safe that which means don't just waste it I'm gonna quickly show it to you one more time here on this guy but we need to do some healing oh, 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 oh. Utah is also here we need to swap the pets and you can see it here now when we pop up celestial avatar we stun break and then we can stun with three then we go with two and then four 
two should be also placed on the enemies here like this and you can see it here they will get blinded and then we can start with Cel uh, Celestial Avatar 5 we get stability plus we will inflict slow heal our allies and ourselves, and just be annoying with that we can heal our pet we can now sw uh, dodge so our pet will get protection and then we can immobilize this guy so he won't be able to avoid the damage from the pet and it is so annoying. It is important to immobilize enemies when you swap to this pad because w once they are immobilized like this here with the 5 you can immobilize, apply slow cripple uh, on immobilized they are not able to dodge which means enemies who are not able to dodge will get the full damage of your pad and this pad deals just heavy damage you don't even need quickness or anything like that but if you play it with Beastmaster you can even deal more damage but you lose survivability so for who or what is this build made for for players who like to su to support their allies who like to have some mobility and who like to be tanky you have a lot of dodging mobile uh, abilities for example staff 3 is not only there to just um, use it as a combo finisher with this skill but you can also meanwhile dodge attacks also it is nice to recap points for example if you are he fighting here off point against an enemy your one of the enemies will try to decap your point you can just use it and be unblockable uh, no only guard staff 5 should block you but otherwise enemies won't be able to block you when you use this you can fast run on the point you can just see it here the distance is freaking high should the this should be the max distance i don't know maybe a little bit f or more away but this should be the max distance then you can swap to sword do this and this to have more mobility uh, then you have one dodge with sword 2 dodge with sword 3 and evade with uh, dagger 4 which means 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 with your staff which you can just use whenever you want if you don't have your healing ready uh, the survivability is freaking high and don't forget this is also a dodge and a huge dodge which can be dodging uh, an entire point then we have signet of renewal if you are in a dangerous position I recommend to use it on this pet because uh, the smoke scale is it is not so so bad if it dies but you can use it like this and then swap the pets and when you swap the pets your other pet won't die and this one this the new pet will not have the conditions which the other pet suffered from uh, so this is a nice tip to know if you don't want your pet to die you just use signet of renewal and immediately swap but if you swapped pets and use this your pet might be dying there signet of stone is uh, you should use it on the last seconds because it has a too long cooldown to just use it when your HP is under 50% let's say you have 10k HP don't use it wait 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 until the la last seconds on the last seconds then pop it up uh, entangle as I said it use it when enemies are chasing your allies you can just immobilize them and safely heal your allies up and they will be safe for a few seconds uh, what else can I say yeah with sword 2 you can also combo leap get a water extra healing for yourself not for your allies but with the uh, ancestral, uh, ancestral grace ancestral grace I don't know if I said it right you were uh, there with this one you can do it it's a combo finisher blast and a wait as you can see it here one and a one fourth second plus it seems to give protection to your pet really or what become a wisp of net traversing the condition location when you reach the target heal nearby allies and grant protection to your pet okay it seems only to work maybe if you heal someone okay uh, otherwise if you don't want to use signet of renewal and you better like to have let's say an extra condition cleanse or a stun breaker you can go also with quickening sapphire this is pretty strong but it has also a 40 seconds cooldown you will get for eight and a one fourth seconds quickness you will get super speed you remove two conditions and it's an extra stun break it is pretty strong with this pet because the auto attack from this pet with quickness is deadly otherwise you can also just go with the um, muddy terrain it's also annoying it has a short cooldown it removes two conditions it will slow cripple enemies and the most annoying one it will immobilize 
and having so many mobilizers one two three is so annoying and it will be annoying for every enemy to be permanently mobilized because he will not be able to dodge and you are just able to wreck them hardcore and you can see it here we rest this guy pretty fast and then we can do this heal him up and then just with this water healing we can just run water 4 you can run with water 4 and heal your allies pretty nice with it but you will not have stability so i recommend when you go celestial avatar to always use uh, the fifth skill the first because it gives you stability so the enemies will not be able to knock you down uh, that was it basically signet of stone should be a must have and this one here also lightning reflexes but the second utility skill can be swapped for anything what you like you can also use um, this one here it has a shorter cooldown it will daze the enemies and stun break which is also nice if you want to have a skill to interrupt enemies for example an enemy uh, enemy druid or scourge who will try to heal himself up you can just interrupt him for two seconds he will not be able to use any skills plus it is a stun break for yourself if you are in a dangerous position uh, otherwise yeah use signet of renewal for the additional healing you will get resistance and your pet will take all your conditions it's a lifesaver if you get condi bombed on low hp uh, to the skins because a lot of people will ask me and then this will be the end white mask mantle elite guard mask night fury skin predatory west this is only for norns you can see it here my druid is norn because i guess norns are the born uh, rangers <laughs> inquest bracers crytan leggings and crytan boots with chaos staff green thistle sword and frostforge dagger which looks pretty awesome the back the back piece is fer fervid uh, sensor which can be bought on the laurel splendor and matches the gold shadow beast dies on my druid here uh, this video got, got a little bit too long i i know but i explained everything a little bit better and i hope you enjoyed it and if you want to see some pvp with this build just tell me down in the comments and i will record a game but i'm like sure it will be an unranked arena because ranked arena is just yeah if i have bad dps you can be the best healer you will lose the game <laughs> that was it guys i hope you enjoyed this video I really appreciate it that you all watch my videos and I see you in my next videos you will see as always three of my other videos plus you can subscribe to my channel if you don't already are a subscriber of me that was happy no bye bye guys